Okay, I want to take this time with you and explain, I mean, the fundamentals of our offensive scheme and the zone concept, because everything for us at Nevada starts with the zone. And I know when we first, I was not a zone guy. Uh, we were a one-back offense. We'd block it, man. Uh, for me to convince myself and the pistol to run the zone blocking concept took a lot of study, a lot of things that we did, and, and we added things that we felt would be beneficial for us because as a coach, when you're, when you're selling something, you really believe in it, you've got to understand it, and you've got to have answers, not when things are going good, but when they're going bad. So as we've talked about in our zone concept, it's a area blocking concept with your lineman stepping gap side, play side. The biggest difference in our zone and most inside zones, most inside zones, is we are stepping out and up, a six inch step out and up into the defensive line. We are giving our lineman aiming points, inside number, outside number. Some of my offensive line coaches got very good with a veteran line and could go armpits and middle. It really, my whole feeling of this was give our players a chance before the ball snapped to know what they're stepping to and what they're expected to block and block it with force because this is a downhill running play. Now the backs, we'll do our misdirection with our motion, with our backs, with our quarterback. But the zone concept not only takes care of our inside zone play, it takes care of our smoke play, which is when we show a read action that's truly handing the ball off in zone, and takes care of actually our read play because the blocking is all the same, except on the read play, you're reading the end man line of scrimmage and that, uh, that player at that particular position has to do different things. So again now, the beauty that we wanted to and buy into and loved was that in our zone concept, our first goal was to get up, out and up in the line and create double teams when we could. Okay, this is the beauty of it. So we always would say to our linemen, block the front first. If we can block a lineman and say this, say we're going weak zone here. Now weak zone, in this particular case, he would be C-gap. Well, we all know he's got C-gap, he's got contain. He's B, he's A. We know these two have this stack in our zone concept, okay? If this guy was a backer and he was an end, then he would be out, he would be over, he would be over, and we got the same gap responsibilities. But what we wanted to do, our weak side zone was a vicious play. I mean, we, it, we, we ran it and we believed in it, and really, when we first put the pistol in, it wasn't a big play for us. And as we evolved, we learned that it's better almost than the strong side zone with our slice action. So what we would expect here is our center to step out and up six inches. He'd be aiming for basically the inside number of that tackle. Now, this guard knows he's got the B gap. He, he knows that's his responsibility. I mean, if this guy were to come here or he were to come here, that's his. But he knows right now there's not an immediate threat. That's a backer who's two and a half, three yards off, sometimes four. So instead, instead of taking his out and up step, he will take a direct step, okay? Some people call it a smash step with their left foot, just smash it down. We would just say a direct step. If my linemen want to use a better term and a simpler term, they were welcome to do it. But the idea was they would not step out. They wouldn't step up, they'd step directly right where their foot, right where their left foot basically is, and come up through, in this case, this one technique. He wouldn't leave them until this backer attacked. If that backer sat there, we will take this double team and run it into him. We will run it into him. Now, here's the key. Our weak zone, the back's track is the inside leg of the guard. If you've got a double team going, you're pushing him off, even if he comes up. That back is here, he's going to press. And remember we talked about vision of the back? Vision is a skill. You can only develop a skill if you're willing to do reps. You've got to do the zone concept with reps. I mean, any kind of offense. You've got to be, I just feel once again, you've got to be able to rep things for the back to develop the skill of vision. And then of course, in this case, he's backside here. 
Now, coming week, once again now, this guy has a gap. There's no immediate threat there. He looks, he, there's no immediate threat. He has B gap. He sees the threat on the three technique. This guy basically has B gap. Backer would have A gap. So when we have time, he's bought some time. He would do basically the same thing with his step, with that left foot just replacing his left foot. Just boom, right here. Looking now, maybe this backer snuck over here, decide to blitz here. That would be his man. But he's got time to decipher that. What we're looking for here is this guy to come up on his uh, left foot with the, with the smash technique that we talked about there and come on his outside number, his inside number, excuse me, and this guy on his outside number and drive this pile into that backer. If that backer releases and comes off, then we expect that guard to come off this double team and make the play. Okay? If that backer goes, of course, goes away, we're not going to do anything. So they still have the responsibility. I mean, he still is the A-gap blocker. Whatever's going to happen, I mean, if somebody from here came to the A-gap and, you know, started cheating over, he'd have to get them. But that's all, that's easy recognition when people are off the ball. We wanted to create, this is this, in our thought process, it, it was the success that we started to get where a zone that made a difference for us compared to other teams that run the zone. Because we preached the double team. I mean, we talked about double team concept in zone. And in this particular opportunity, you would get double teams. Okay, so that was really big to us.